good morning students i am your business maths teacher read revise remember and recall to get more marks in your studies you must read the topics first and revise it in order to understand well if you revise well you will remember the concept easily and recall it very easily okay recall it very easily in your exam in last class that is in our previous class we revise the exercise 1.2 and example now we are going to revise the exercise 1.3 as well as the example related to this topic okay so this topic is related to how to solve the equation that is how to find the value of the variable x y and z in order to find the in order by applying the matrix inversion method okay the first sum in exercise 1.3 okay here solve by matrix invention method 2x plus 3y minus z equal to 0 x minus 2y plus 1 equal to 0 here given equation are 2x plus 3y plus 5 now write the take the coefficient of the variable x and y here the coefficient of variable x and y is 2 3 1 minus 2 and x y okay first you have to write the coefficient of the variable in matrix form by in first equation the coefficient of the variable x is 2 and y is 3 and the second equation the coefficient of the variable x equal to 1 and y equal to minus 2 then write the variable x y is in column then write the constant term that is phi minus 1 that is here the equation constant term is plus minus 5 is there okay if it is goes to that side it become plus 5 likewise plus 1 goes to the right side of the equation it become minus 1 so write a phi and minus 1 in the second that is right side of the equation this is in the form of a x b here a equal to 2 3 1 minus 2 x equal to x y and b equal to 5 minus 1 so in order to solve the value of the x variable x equal to a inverse b here a equal to 2 3 1 minus 2 so didn't find, how to find the determinants of a why you are finding the determinants of a first because in order to find the a inverse the first step is find the determinants of a then find the value of the adjoint of a apply the formula a inverse equal to 1 by determinants of a into adjoint of a okay so these three rules are followed in order to find the a inverse once again i am saying a inverse is nothing but first step find determinants of a second step find adjoint of a third step apply the formula 1 by determinants of a into adjoint of a equal to a inverse okay now i am finding the determinants of a by my cross multiplying the main diagonal and off diagonal and separating this main diagonal are 2 minus 2 and 1 come 3 if you multiplying this main diagonal you are getting minus 4 minus 3 okay then uh, equal to minus 7 which is not equal to 0 therefore a inverse exists okay once again saying that a equal to 2 3 1 minus 2 that if you multiply in the main diagonal you are getting minus 4 minus 3 which is minus 7 which is not equal to 0 therefore a inverse exit adjoint of a equal to minus 2 minus 3 minus 1 and 2 interchanging the places of leading diagonal element and change the sign of the dining the diagonal element you are getting the adjoint of a that is adjoint of a is minus 2 2 that is main diagonal is minus 2 and minus 2 minus 2 2 and off diagonal is 3 and 1 change the sign of this diagonal then a inverse equal to 1 by determinants of a into adjoint of a equal to 1 by minus 7 minus 2 minus 3 minus 1 plus 2 check it now find the value of the a inverse 1 by adjoint of a 1 by determinants of a into adjoint of a okay here determinants of a equal to minus 7 and adjoint of a equal to minus 2 minus 3 minus 1 2 if you multiply these things you are getting the a inverse okay then x equal to nothing but a inverse into b that is first find the a inverse by finding the determinants of a adjoint of a and apply the formula then 
multiply this inverse by b you are getting the value of x that is the uh, four steps in this problem okay here the value of b is given in the question 5 minus 1 okay so multiply this b into a inverse you are getting 1 by 7 into 2 3 1 minus 2 into 5 minus 1 you are getting 1 by 7 into 10 minus 3 5 plus 2 equal to 1 by 7 7 into 7 okay if you divide this 7 by 7 you are getting 1 and 1 which is the value of the variable that is x equal to 1 and y equal to 1 okay now go to the second sum this sum is related to 3 into 3 matrices the same rule is followed that is first to find the determinants of a which is not equal to 0 means you have to find the value of the, that is a inverse you have to find a inverse then in order to find a inverse you find a determinants of a adjoint of a and apply the formula a inverse equal to 1 by determinants of a into adjoint of a okay then multiply this a inverse into b in order to find the value of the variable x y z okay in this sum there are three variables are given therefore the matrix is in the form of 3 into 3 matrices the first row is 3 minus 1 2 and second row 2 1 minus 1 that is you are taking the coefficient of the variable in each and every equation okay first equation become first row and second equation become second row and third equation become third row given equation can be written in matrix form okay so after that apply the rules a x equal to b where a equal to 3 2 minus 1 2 2 1 minus 1 1 3 minus 5 and x equal to x y z and b equal to 13 3 8 now you have to find the determinants of the a by expanding the first row okay if you expand the first row you are getting the answer minus 5 which is not equal to 0 therefore a inverse exit then find the adjoint of a how to find the adjoint of a for 3 into 3 matrices by finding the minor as well as the cofactor okay so the minus if you give sign for the minor you are getting the cofactor so write all the cofactor of the all the elements in the first row second row and third row okay then after finding the uh, cofactor you if you transpose this into transpose these matrices you are getting the adjoint of a that is rows are changed into column minus 2 9 5 changed into first column 1 minus 17 minus 10 changed into second column minus 1 7 5 changed into third column now we are finding the adjoint of a after finding this adjoint of a apply the rules a inverse equal to 1 by determinants of a into adjoint of a here determinants of a is minus 5 therefore minus 1 by 5 then into minus 2 1 minus 1 9 minus 17 7 5 minus 10 5 then x equal to a inverse into b that is a inverse is already we find it then b is nothing but 13 3 minus 8 now multiply this rows into column that is first row is minus 2 1 minus 1 multiply by 13 3 8 minus 2 13 are 26 1 3 is plus 3 1 into minus 8 equal to plus 8 minus 1 into minus 8 plus 8 likewise second row 9 13 are 117 17 3 is are minus 51 7 8 are 56 third row into first column 5 13 are 65 and uh, 10 3 is are 30 5 8 are 40 after so multiplying it you add all those things you are getting minus 15 10 and minus 5 if you divide it by minus 5 you are getting the solution of the set is 3 minus 2 1 that is x equal to 3 y equal to minus 2 and 1 so this is the uh, sum related to 3 into 3 matrices the same model here also given in this sum the y variable in second equation the y variable is missing first equation the x variable is 1 y variable is mi minus 1 and the coefficient of the z variable is 2 but in second equation the coefficient of the first variable x is 2 and z y is missing so in the place of y you have to put 0 and the coefficient of the variable is it equal to 1 okay in third equation all the variables that is coefficient of the variable x equal to 2 3 2 1 okay so write all those things then write the x y z in column form then b equal to 3 1 4 so this is in the form of a x equal to b 
where a equal to 1 minus 1, 2, 2, 0, 1 and 3, 2, 1. Okay. Where a capital X equal to X, Y, Z and B equal to 3, 1, 4. So, the same rule you have to apply. That is, first to find the determinants of A. If it is not equal to 0, then A inverse exit. Then find the value of the adjoint of A. Apply the formula A inverse equal to 1 by determinants of A into adjoint of A. After applying this formula, multiply this A inverse by B. Then you are getting the value of the X, Y, Z. Okay. This is the rules you have to follow in order to solve this problem. Now we are finding the determinants of A by way of expanding the first row. If you expand the first row, you are getting 5 that is not equal to 0. Therefore, A inverse exit. Okay. Then find the adjoint of A. Adjoint of A is finding the minor and cofactor of the element. After finding it, you have transpose that is find the transpose of this cofactor. Then you are getting minus 2, 5, minus 1 that is 2, 1, 4 is written as first column, 5 minus 5 minus 5 is second as second column, minus 1, 3, 2 is written as third column. After finding this, apply the formula A inverse equal to 1 by determinants of A into adjoint of A, therefore 1 by 5 into minus 2, 5 minus 1, 4, 1 minus 5, 3, 4 minus 5, 2. Then X equal to A inverse into B, that is we find the value of the A inverse then X equal to A inverse into B means here determinants of A inverse equal to already you know B equal to 3 1 4 uh, multiply this row into column first row into first column that is minus 2 3 are 6 5 1 is 5 minus 1 into 4 plus 4 likewise you have to multiply and find the answer you are getting the value minus 1 2 3 as the solution of the set ok the next question here third question the x variable in first equation 2x minus z equal to 0 here y variable means missing so in the place of y you have to put 0 2 0 minus 1 likewise in second equation z is missing therefore 5 1 0 in third equation x is missing therefore 0 1 3 then you have to follow the same model that is find the determinants of a which is not equal to 0 means a inverse exit then find adjoint of a as well as a inverse then multiply it by b you are getting the solution set the next is related to the word problem model that is here a sole person ravi has the following record of the sales for the month of january february and march 2009 for three products abc he has been paid a commission and fixed rate per unit but at varying rates of product abc okay listen here there are three product uh, A, B, C are there. Okay. So, these three products are sold in the month of January, February and March. And also the commission given to this product is given as 800, 900 and 850. Find the rate of commission payable on A. A. How much is the uh, rate of commission payable on A, B, C per unit sold using matrix inversion method. Take this first you have to write this into equation form. That is 9x plus 10y plus 2z because x represent the a product and y represent b product and z represent c product that is 9x plus 10y plus 2z equal to 800 and 15x plus 5y plus 4z equal to 900 6x plus 10y plus 3z equal to 850 after writing this change this into equation that is matrix form that is in the form of ax equal to b then find the value of the determinants of A. Here the value of the determinants A equal to minus 195 which is find by way of expanding the first row. Then if it is not equal to 0 means A inverse exits. Therefore find the adjoint of A by finding the cofactor. That is the cofactor is nothing but here 5, 4, 10, 3. That is find the minor and change the sign of it. You are getting the cofactor. And if the if you finding the transpose of this cofactor you are getting adjoint of a then apply the formula a inverse equal to 1 by determinants of a into adjoint of a after finding the a inverse you are you have to multiply it by b okay here b equal to 800 900 850 that is first row is multiplied by first column second row also multiplied by second column first column and the third row also is multiplied by first column 
you are getting the answer 3500 8000 minus 8400 minus 20250 if you divide it by minus 195 you are getting the solution x y z equal to 17.95 43.08 103.85 hence the rate of commission payable on a b c are 17.95 and 43.08 percent and 103.85 percent okay now we are going to see the next sum the price of the three commodities a b c or x y z respectively that is the price of the commodity is a b c price is x y z b purchases four units of c listen here if it is purchase mean you have to put minus sign if sales is given means you have to put c plus sign this is the um, important things here okay that is if you purchasing a pen means you have to pay some amount so your cash is reduced so you put minus sign if you selling something means you are getting some amount so your cash is increased so it uh, you should put plus sign that is the concept here so b purchases four units of c means minus four z c is nothing but z and uh, a is x b is y and c is z so purchases given that therefore minus 4 units of c means 4 z minus 4 z and sales 3 units of y sales means plus plus 3 x plus 3 units of a means x that is 3 x plus 5 units of b means 5 y okay a means x b means y c means z purchase means minus sales means plus if you understand this concept then it is easy to change this word problem into question form that is the equation form then come to the q that is the second equation q purchases three units of b purchases means minus three units of b means y minus three y sales means plus that is two units of a means plus two is x the one units of c means plus is is it equal and then equal to five thousand these things are given in other um, question last line okay then uh, next one is r purchases one unit of a and sells four units of b and six units of c their earnings is six thousand five thousand thirteen thousand therefore the three equations are minus four is three x plus five y minus four is it equal to six thousand two x minus three y plus is it equal to five thousand minus x plus four y plus six is it equal to thirteen thousand it can be written in the form of matrix form that is it is in the 3 5 minus 4 2 minus 3 1 minus 1 plus 4 6 x y z equal to 6000 5000 and 13000 then going to the next one this is in the form of a x equal to b so in order to find the value of x you have to write x equal to a inverse b that is a is given b is given as well as x capital x is given then x equal to a inverse b a equal to given so find the value of the determinants of a by expanding the first row you are getting a inverse equal to minus 151 which is not equal to 0 then find the adjoint of a adjoint of a is finding the cofactor of the matrix and find the transport of this cofactor in order to find the adjoint of a then apply the formula determinants of a inverse equal to 1 by determinants of a into adjoint of a you are getting the a inverse as minus 1 by 151 into minus 22 minus 46 minus 7 minus 13 plus 14 minus 11 plus 5 minus 17 minus 19 then you have to find the value of the x by way of applying the formula a inverse into b equal to x therefore a write the a inverse as it is and write the b element 6000 5000 and 13000 which is in the question R multiply row into column that is 22 minus 22 into 6000 minus 46 into 5000 minus 7 into 13000 then minus 13 into 6000 plus 14 into 5000 minus 11 into 30000 5 into 6000 minus 17 into 5000 minus 19 into 30000 you are getting the value 4 lakh 53,000, 1 lakh 51,000 and a minus 1, 3, 3 lakhs 2,000. If you divide it by minus 151, you are getting the answer 3,000, 1,000 and 2,000 as the prices of per unit of A, B, C are 3,000, 1,000 and 2,000 respectively.
Next we are going to see the fifth sum. The sum of three number is 20. If we multiply the first by 2 and add the second number, subtract the third, we get 23. Listen. The sum of three number is 20, which is the first equation. X, Y, Z. Let the required number be X, Y, Z. Therefore, the sum X, Y, Z equal to 20. If we multiply the first by 2, that is first is X. X by 2 means 2X. Add the second number. Second number as it is, that is plus Y. Subtract the third number, minus Z. You are getting 23. That is the second equation. If we multiply the first by 3, first by 3 means 3X. And add second. Second is Y. And third, third also you have to add plus Z. We are getting 46. So, first in understand the word problem. Then only it is easy for you to form a equation. Okay. After forming an equation, apply the same rule that is uh, write it in matrix form. Apply the rule how to find A inverse by way of finding the determinants of A, adjoint of A and A inverse. Then find the value of the X equal to A inverse into B. We are getting the answer 13 to 5. This is the required value of the X, Y, Z 13 to 5. Then next question which is also a word problem weekly expenditure in an office for three weeks is given assuming that the salary in all the three weeks of different categories of staff did not vary calculate the salary for each of the type of the staff using the matrix invention method here the three variables are that is the number of employees a b c or the first week second week and three weeks Total salary also given 4,900, 4,500, 5,800. These things are B. That is B equal to 4,900, 4, 4,500 and 5,800. And XY is capital X. And um, 4, 2, 3, 3, 3, 2, 4, 3, 4 as A. Then apply the same rule. Find the determinants of A and adjoint of A as well as A inverse. In order to find the value of the variable X, Y and Z. Okay, so here I am finding the A inverse as plus 7 which is not equal to 0 and adjoint of A, wait a minute, uh, it is a 6th problem I think, okay, so we are going to see the 6th problem now, so listen, determinants of A equal to A inverse equal to 7 which is not equal to 0, then adjoint of A, find the adjoint of A, after finding the adjoint of A, find the inverse. That is A inverse equal to 1 by determinants of A into adjoint of A. Then X equal to A inverse into B. So the value of the X equal to 700, 600 and 300. If you divide the value 4900 by 7, 4200 by 7 and 2100 by 7. Hence the salary for each type of staff are 700, 600 and 300. So now we finish the exercise 3.1. Okay. In the afternoon session, we are going to see about the example sums related to this 3.1. After revising it, do all the sums in your school notebook. Okay. So these, uh, so you, you have to write each and every line in the answers. That is, don't omit any line, any um, part okay because these marks carry forward as your internal marks therefore be careful while writing the assignment do all the assignment whichever given as assignment in each and every uh, every session okay do it in your school note okay in order to score more marks so once again i am saying the same things practice makes the man perfect so read revise Remember and recall in order to get more marks. Thank you students.